An Engineering Excellence Award is being presented to Hatch Mott McDonald for the Sterling Water Treatment System Project. The City of Sterling faced multiple Environmental Protection Agency violations of the National Primary Drinking Water Standard. Its water contained high levels of sulfate and total dissolved solids. The City wanted to install a new reverse osmosis water treatment plant because of its effectiveness in removing contaminants, but the solution would be complicated because the treatment brine would contain uranium. This would be a challenge because of Colorado's strict surface and groundwater quality standards. So the City of Sterling has been operating groundwater wells and disinfection for many, many years. That was all the treatment they had. It was groundwater with disinfection. So for the operators, for the city staff, this was a significant increase in the level of expertise that would be needed, the level of technology, and of course the, the funding for operation and maintenance. And they've done a fantastic job at stepping up to the plate, taking the challenge, and the operators in Sterling and the city staff are doing a fantastic job with this plan. Colorado engineers Hatch Mott McDonald solved the challenge with the unique application of reverse osmosis coupled with EPA Class I deep injection wells for waste disposal. This project is both innovative and unique. In using deep injection wells for disposal of the brine, which is the waste stream, from an RO treatment plant. It's not the first time it's been done in Colorado. Uh, we're actually the second as a municipality. But it's the first time it's been done to dispose of uranium. So the uranium is naturally occurring in the ground, and we're taking it out of the ground with the groundwater. That's the reason for the water treatment plant. But we're putting it back into the ground with the deep injection wells. We're just putting it deeper into the ground. And that, that's a real benefit um, to getting the uranium and all the other contaminants out of the water cycle. So rather than putting it back into the river or back into the groundwater, we lock it up underground with deep injection wells. And that allows the city to be a good neighbor to the downstream water users. The result enabled the city to meet its water quality goals to provide 14,000 residents with safe, clean, and aesthetically pleasing drinking water and building a 9.6 million gallon per day water treatment plant without incurring the costs and risks associated with the disposal of uranium contaminated waste. On a project that's as technically challenging as this one was, doing your, your investigative work, your preliminary design upfront and early is very important. And of course, relying on technical experts.